Imagine being stranded in space as your country dissolves below you. What would you do if your passport became invalid overnight? This isn't fiction. It's exactly what happened to an astronaut named Sergei Krikalev, the last Russian-Soviet cosmonaut who was trapped inside the Mir space station. Subscribe now to learn more about this gripping tale of endurance and adaptability in the vastness of space. Sergei Krikalev originated from Leningrad in Russia, and this ultimately is where he nurtured a lifelong fascination with space. Upon completing his education, he joined Energia, a prominent force in Soviet space exploration. His pivotal involvement in a 1985 rescue mission solidified his path towards becoming a cosmonaut. Later selected for astronaut training, Krikalev witnessed the inaugural automated flight of the Buran shuttle before embarking on his groundbreaking mission, an extended stay aboard the Mir space station, a collaborative endeavor between France and the USSR. Notably, during the initial month of his tenure, Krikalev overlapped with the preceding Mir crew, resulting in the longest six-person mission in history. Later, in May of 1991, the Russian astronaut embarked on a momentous eight-month stint on the Mir space station. Despite facing tense moments during manual docking, Krikalev's composure ensured a successful rendezvous with the Mir station. Days on the Mir space station were a whirlwind of science, exercise, and maintenance. But his routine was shattered in August of 1991. A failed coup attempt against Gorbachev sent the Soviet Union into a tailspin. By December 26, 1991, the situation escalated further as the Soviet Union was officially dissolved, replaced by the newly formed Russian Federation amid widespread political and economic chaos. This pivotal event had immediate repercussions for Krikalev, extending his time in space indefinitely as the new government struggled with the transition and could not prioritize a return plan. Trapped hundreds of miles above Earth that no longer recognized his nation, Krikalev found himself a cosmonaut with an outdated passport, representing a country that had vanished overnight. Krikalev later stated, I was clueless, trying to understand how this would impact the space station. Meanwhile, of course, the space program's future was clouded by uncertainty. The Soviet rumble plummeted, and rumors swirled about selling the Russian Mir space station and even cosmonaut seats. On board, an escape capsule existed, but it meant abandoning the Mir, likely to its demise. While the Soviet Union crumbled under him, daily routines and station maintenance became his priority. By January of 1992, however, the supplies on board the Mir were running low. Despite the dissolution of the Soviet Union, the space program continued under the newly established Russian Federation. However, this new entity was having a very hard time at trying to fund the program. In this context, the Progress M10 resupply mission was launched, delivering essential supplies to the Mir. This mission, coordinated by the Russian Space Agency, now responsible for the program, brought much-needed resources to the station, ensuring that Krikalev and his crew could maintain their operations amid uncertain times. After unloading the M10, they filled it with experiment data and sent it back down, a task delayed by faulty gyroscopes. After a quick fix, they were able to send the M10 safely to Kazakhstan on January 20th. Just a week later, however, tensions rose again. Continued international efforts were now crucial to maintaining these supply chains, ensuring the mission's sustainability. Ground workers demanding better wages went on strike, jeopardizing the program's M11's arrival. Ignoring all this turmoil, in February of 1992, Krikalev pushed his limits on board the Mir with a record-breaking spacewalk. Krikalev repaired the Svedza module and completed other tasks, logging a total of 4 hours and 12 minutes outside the station. This extended his total EVA time to an impressive 36.5 hours. But thankfully for him and his worsening fears, his marathon stay in space was nearing its end. March 1992 would mark his return to Earth. 
During this uncertain time, international dialogues and negotiations, particularly with Germany and other European partners, were crucial. Germany and UAE countries were instrumental, providing essential financial and technological support. The return plan for Krikalev involved intricate negotiations and logistical challenges, necessitating unprecedented international collaboration. This joint effort was crucial for the successful launch of the Soyuz TM-14 rescue mission, emphasizing the growing importance of global partnership in space missions. After all this extended coordination, on March 25, 1992, the capsule reached the Mir space station, and Krikalev boarded, preparing for Earth-bound travel. After 312 days in space, Krikalev returned to Earth, touching down in Kazakhstan. By this time, Kazakhstan had become an independent republic, having declared its independence on December 16, 1991. This transition was part of a broader dissolution of the Soviet Union, triggered by increasing nationalist movements and an economic struggle that escalated following a failed coup in 1991. The coup significantly weakened central authority, leading to surrounding republics, including Kazakhstan, to assert their sovereignty. As he touched down on Earth, Krikalev's relief washed over him. He stated that it wasn't exactly euphoria, but it was very good. As he exited his rescue capsule, he reunited with his wife and daughter and stepped foot into the newly formed Russian Federation. His passport, a reminder of a vanished nation needing replacing. The space program he once belonged to had fractured, dividing between Russia and Ukraine. Despite the chaos on Earth, life aboard the Mir couldn't extinguish Krikalev's passion for space. In fact, his extended stay paved the way for future international cooperation. He became a symbol of human resilience and was chosen for the first joint U.S. and Russia space mission. He later joined Expedition 1, the historic first crew to live on the International Space Station. Across his career, he amassed a staggering total of 803 days in space, solidifying his place as a legend in space exploration. His dedication earned him numerous accolades, including the title of Hero of the Soviet Union and Hero of the Russian Federation. And with that, we will end today's video. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and subscribing, and let us know in the comments below what videos you'd like to see next.